Welcome back again to some more Zero K action. It's going to be a free versus free team game on the ISIS Delta map, and we'll get back to it. Okay, there we go. So yes, it's going to be a little bit different to the uh, previous game that I casted, and uh, we'll just have to find out how exactly as the game goes on. So left team versus right team, and I'm just skipping the pre-game chatter, apparently there was loads of it. So the left team is going to be Scuzzy with Spiders, Anfibs for Hoko Moko, and Dane Froond with the Cloaky Bots. The right team is going to be slightly more asymmetrical, it's going to be Spiders, bizarrely enough, for Atom 2, Anfibs for Sprung, and uh, myself, Lightman, we're going to be going with uh, Planes. So it's a bit risky going with planes on this map, um, just because it's a bit smaller. Still there's quite a bit of room to manoeuvre though, but um, the thing is though, because there's only three of us, and that basically means one less player playing as a ground. Okay, yeah, the alt thing, indeed. Um, yeah, one less player playing as ground, and um, yeah, basically means we're going to have to um, play a bit differently compared to these guys, that's for sure. Especially since we've got spiders. Although, uh, what the hell, Skazi does have his own spiders, actually. So I suppose the only real difference is going to be, um, yeah, Dane Froon is going for cloakies, while instead of that I'm going for airplanes, I suppose. Otherwise, uh, factories are pretty pretty similar. Well, they're the same, I guess, just in slightly uh, different locations of the spider factory. One a bit more forward than the other one. So, what the hell, see what happens. My planes have been uh, revealed. But at the same time, my planes are revealing plenty as well. We're going to be revealing that our opponents don't actually have any uh, planes of their own, actually. In fact, I managed to uh, take out that radar tower. Very nicely done indeed. So that's what I'm talking about when it comes to pinpoint destruction of light targets with swifts. And there we go. We're just going to be taking out a couple of wind gens because I can. But nope, we're actually going to be going, getting out of there, probably because I saw the defender being built up. And uh, wise move, I, I suppose, perhaps. Is this guy actually on hold fire? Yep, he is actually, so he's going to be able to... Uh, Dine through of his gremlin is basically going to be spotting literally everything. Just look at the vision radius so you can see what's being built up, what's being repaired, and you can also see the solar collect in the commander, because why not, eh? Uh, why not today? Not only that, but they've actually got fleas around pretty strategic spots, and they've also got a glaive in plain sight near us as well. Where is our goddamn radar, actually? I don't know. Oh no, never mind, we actually do have radar here, so we should be able to spot that. We could do some radar here actually, just to spot around as well, but we have got we have got defences being built up. We had some defences being built up by Atom, not anymore though. There we go, now it's going to keep on building up. We also do have a couple of uh, mexes around here, as well as a couple of obelisks for uh, reclaim. A bit, of, a bit of decent metal on them actually. And uh, what was that? Okay, Glaive of Dane Fruins getting taken out, but this one's still running around actually, he's going to be um, causing all sorts of carnage I'm sure. And uh, yeah, what are my planes going to be doing? I don't know actually, because my planes are not really doing much, um, to say the least. <laughs> Just floating around, but really, I mean, we do have one raven I suppose, but that's the thing though, he can spot all these ravens, it's going to be a bit annoying. So they're probably going to be suspecting a comm snipe or, you know, just bombers doing something else in general. What the hell was that? Some uh, lag there for some odd reason, I don't know why. But um, what the hell, it looks like we're definitely in dire straits here. The lack of uh, a third ground player might be our demise. Will uh, that actually happen? Whoa, okay. Just have to find out. Actually, that kind of reminds me of the um, grenade throwers from uh, Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun, in fact. The way they sort of um, skim across the ground like that. But anyway, we're going to be bombing the commander, apparently, and he's just a level zero. Yep, level zero, but um, what the hell? He's going to be a good target, hopefully. No anti-air, three bombers, one dead commander, maybe, unless we can get into the uh, water as quickly as possible. You should actually spot that, actually. The gremlin should have spotted them going out, and his commander might actually get into the water. Nope, he decides to pause briefly, and he dies most likely as a result of that, but... Um, there we go, very nicely done indeed, and I didn't even lose a single single bomber actually, I um, almost lost one, and I think that might have been actually from... not entirely sure from what actually. I don't see any anti-air there. Maybe the warrior was aiming at it as it closed in on the commander, I'm not entirely sure, but... Um, in any case, very nicely done that comm snipe. And yeah, things might actually start to turn around for us. Opponents do still have free fleas in our um, 
base and a gremlin actually, so they definitely do have the uh, information advantage over us. I can, if I want to, I can still fly planes around to scout them out, but at the moment, yeah, they definitely do have a bit more of a passive information advantage at the very least. While I suppose we have the potential to have a bit more of an active um, information advantage, you know, being able to fly planes over pretty much at will. But um, we'll see how that works out, basically. Um, also, we need to apparently retake some stuff as well. I oh, yeah, just re indicated for him to retake the mix. Because why not? The bomber is just going to be flying around. The gremlin spotting that passively. And, uh, yep, air incoming. Yep, they actually are paying attention to what's happening there. And it's going towards the top. They actually do have some anti-air. But it is not going to do anything because these bombers are... Yep, they're just going to target the... Uh, Hermits and what else do we have? Venom, Red Max and such here yeah, coming in as well. Um, probably a smarter move actually. We do have some anti-air here, not much, but still a little bit. And the tarantula would have been a bit problematic as well actually, so I'm not really sure if I could have sniped Skazi's commander, especially since I had the bare minimum of bombers to do that in the first place. Although, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Five bombers, that should be enough to get past this air screen and take out the commander actually, so... Um, there you go. We'll just have to um, see if I actually go for a real comp sniper, but what the hell, definitely uh, helping out in taking out the uh, enemy assaulting units at the very least, and yeah, just doing quite a bit of damage in general. In fact, I probably should be sending these guys towards the south to help take out this um, rather uh, annoying harassing force that we have by Hokomoko, doing quite a bit of damage indeed. But thankfully we do actually have a uh, scallop coming in, so um, there we go. To take them out, of course, just as my bomber comes in as well. <laughs> Not bad. And yeah, fleas can't be killed off by ravens, but I don't have a laser turret either, actually, to take out the fleas either, so that might actually work. Just have to wait and see what happens. I still have a level 0 commander. He might actually spot the flea. Nope, he's not. In fact, he's actually going to get revealed by the flea as well, so. Sucks to be him, actually, if they. No, sucks to be him if they actually try to overwhelm him. They might not, though. And as you can see, we definitely are doing a good job taking our share of the map. In fact, actually, um taking the lion's share of the map, I believe. A bit of an asymmetric map, as you can see. And the fact that we've got this thing sort of secured, but not quite, will, um... Well, we basically do have a slight territorial advantage, but really, we're, on, we're basically on the knife's edge, really. And, uh, in fact, we actually got a slight, um... Actually, the, yeah, the enemy team has got a slight economic advantage, but we've got a slight military advantage. But of course, if opponents, you know, if we leave their economic advantage unchecked, then they could possibly um, build up more um, more forces and possibly take us out. We'll see what happens. We do have Atom with his level 1 commander and a Stardust, just in case. A bit tricky for it to fire down like that, but I suppose being that high up... Actually, you probably should have set it up here in that case, given it a bit more of a range bonus. But what the hell, it's there. There's a commander to support the... Um, indeed. <laughs> the flea spam didn't quite work out, to say the least. Uh, indeed, and what are my bombers going to do now? That is the question. Actually, it looks like they're going to be um, bunching up. What are they going to be up to, though? Well, I don't see any um, commanders here to snipe, so not entirely sure, actually. I think they might just be going for a, yep, a bit of a spread attack, just taking out all these buildings, because why not? And there's a sharpshooter. Getting revealed, but not taken out. A bit of a missed opportunity by my... Um, Raven there, and yeah, I do actually notice though, indicating it there. Not going to be going after it because it's stealthed, of course. And, oh, very nice, actually. The flea going to be revealing it. Might be able to take it out, actually, but nope. Duckman just to take it out. Kind of sucks, but what can you do? You could do an LT, apparently, there. Or maybe not, I don't know. And, oh, very... Bit of a risky spot to put a stinger, actually. He managed to get his commander out of there just barely. I think another missile shot... Or two missile shots would sort have of taken him out. Still, though, definitely um, very cocksure trying to pull to the Stinger that close. I mean, putting it in range of the defenders is one thing, but his own builder, the commander in this case, was actually well in range of the defenders as well. So, I'm not really sure what he was hoping to accomplish with that. But uh, yeah, definitely do have a bit more of a string of bombers coming in, and we even got an air pad coming in. Thank God for that, because yeah, only got one resupply point otherwise. So what are these bombers going to be doing? That's the question. Got a whole bunch of them now. They actually could go for a bit more of a comm snipe if they want to, but I think... We're just looking around the map. Um, it looks like I sniped Hokomoko's commander at some point, because I'm not seeing it anywhere. Oh, no, no, there it is. Okay. So his commander's there. I think it's only level zero. 
Yep, level zero, and this commander is also level zero. Perfect. Also me adding points, I think, just indicate that there's a commander there. He does have a little bit of anti-air set up, nothing really dedicated. He does have the, the um, tarantulas though, they could be a bit nasty if they um, get up a bit closer. And that is sort of what they're doing, just reforming a bit there. And yep, incoming! And it's not even my bombers that take him out, it's actually um, a whole bunch of recluses basically. And Lone Stun, I'm actually going to be going straight towards the top. I think I might actually be able to take out um, Skazi's commander. What the fuck is up with that stuttering? Jesus. Well, nope, I'm actually going straight for the uh, factory. Wow. Talk about going balls to the wall. Down it goes. Down go the nearby buildings as well. Could have gone for the caretaker as well, actually. Should have dedicated a moment to that. But, uh, ah, well. And uh, not only that, I'm actually going to be going... Um, taking a slightly different route back. And actually, pretty good routes. There's um, going to be a little bit of anti-air, but not much though, so yeah, I think that's going to be better than the bombers coming back to the way that they came. So obviously I must have noticed all the anti-air on the way to the factory, and uh, yeah, just taking a slightly different route. And there you go, <laughs> a factory snipe. Probably could have separated the bombers a bit more actually to take out more, but what the hell, I mean, factory snipe. It's not too shabby, you have to admit, not too shabby indeed. But we unfortunately do lose our own commander due to something. I think it might have been the boys that took him out. Sucks, but what can he do? Don't frune. Yeah, but I think he's the only commander... Oh no, that's actually not a commander, never mind. It's a sharpshooter. Remaining four opponents, and uh, yeah, the only sharpshooter actually. So we can take that out pretty quickly. Thank God for infiltrators, and this thing's going to be disabled. Yep, and it is dead. Permanently disabled. We've got evil fog as well. The fog of war. Very painful indeed. Trying to make a bit of a river crossing, not working out too well to say the least. One Stardust here, another Stardust here probably would have been a good idea as well. But what the hell, as you can see, doing a good job um, actually managing to take out these guys at range even. Thank God for the range bonus, but unfortunately far too much for um, the uh, Stardust to handle. But there we go, here come the bombers, and I'm pretty sure they one shot the recluses. Yes, they do actually, so thank God for being able to do spread attacks with them. And down he goes, trying to dodge the shots, but not working out too well. This guy's unfortunately going to die without, without even doing any damage. Same with this guy, actually. Probably going to be a cue for me to start retreating my bombers. And there we go, one, another another attack averted. Shock and door, that is right. Loads of shock and awe, to say the least. I might even call the video shock and awe on YouTube. We'll see what happens. And now we've got a crab of Ronap, actually. So, yep, a bit of back and forth action happening. But, uh, yep, we might actually... Um, have a possible successful enemy counter-attack on the top. Crabe and a couple of uh, redbacks coming in, and no anti-air coming in with them. Oh, never mind, as I say that, we've got tarantulas coming in. I don't know why I didn't see them before I zoomed out, actually, but there you go. Ripple Lair is apparently what is going to happen. Is that going to be the case? We'll just have to find out. Right now, it seems to be more of a matter of rest in peace enemies at base. So we're just blasting shit out of them with shotguns. Yeah, who do you think shotguns could, could do so well against buildings? Maybe that's what we'll see in the future. We'll see um, tanks armed not with HE shells against buildings, but with just giant um, canister shot shells um, dispersing crap all over the place and taking out their buildings. I still don't know what the hell is up with that stutter, but oh well, fuck it. I don't know if that's actually due to the uh, something that happens in the replay or what. But, uh, well, whatever, we'll just have to contend with it, I guess. Very nice bit of um, harassment. We had someone send me a Steam message, but I can't see it because this game doesn't support the Steam overlay. But, um, oh well. What can you do? I'm sure it was something that Sam um, will find out about after the uh, game is done. Probably nothing too important, actually, but whatever. Actually, is that meant to be. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, normally at the top here, we'd actually have these um, metal engine indicators, but instead they've been moved here. They've also had their appearance changed. Huzzah, huzzah for UI changes. And yep, here is the uh, rest in peace all air declaration by um, by Skazi. Uh, it doesn't exactly seem to be really destroying me though. In fact, I seem to be uh, blunting his attack quite a bit. But he does have his own tarantulas coming up, and that's definitely going to uh, act as a pretty um, good bait and switch for my bombers. In fact, yeah, they're just going straight into the. Uh, what are they even doing? Why are they not bombing anything? For fuck's sake, Jesus Christ! Well, definitely taking a pretty big chunk out of my bombing force. And if I'm not careful, actually, he might be able to take out my um, my base as well. I don't have too much in terms of actual ground forces, except for the commander, of course, and he's level zero. 
I um, am actually going to be morphing him up. But is it going to be enough? We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I do have one LLT taking out the uh, Pyro. Another LLT being built up. This guy is at level 0, going to be morphing up still. Everything is on fire. Very nasty times indeed. And the trench is also going to be um, doing a bit of damage. What the fuck is up? God fucking damn it. Ah, oh, well, what can you do? Where the hell did my commander even go? Okay, there he is. Well, while the fucking thing stuttered, he actually managed to jump away at the very least. And what the hell, I did manage to keep my base still alive actually, so... Yeah, now it's just a matter of taking out these two tarantulas. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, they're, they're there on their own. Surprise he's actually not trying to retreat them. Our... Pretty sure our radar can actually see them. And, yep, certainly can. Oh my god, this fucking stutter. And yeah, here comes the grizzly to take them out. Easy. One shot, no... No quitter, no hitter, I don't know. I what the hell that fucking saying is, it's kind of ridiculous. I actually got two air arm repair pads, bizarrely enough, and going to be getting a caretaker up. Yeah, pretty much everything managing to stay alive, actually, so... And a bit of salvage in my base. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Apparently I need to rebuild as well. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, definitely need to rebuild, Jesus. Oh, okay, these guys can barely reach there as well, that kind of sucks, but oh well. I suppose I can build maybe like a, a heavy laser tower, the stinger, and then take these guys out and then secure the cliff on our own side, but whatever. It's all good, or we can use the grizzly actually, I'd be pretty, uh, pretty sure, yeah, it should be able to shoot across as well. Yep, plenty of different things that we can do actually. Opponents might possibly be able to destroy the southeast though, with their scallop spam, but they don't have any anti-air though, which is going to be uh, quite the predicament for them. At the same time, they are underwater, so if we don't have something to actually spot them, then my commander, my commander, my bombers can't really do anything against them anyway. And at the same time, we do have a missile silo being built up. That's going to be our super weapon, apparently. Too bad I can't see its damn range. I have to wait for them to actually start making missiles in that case. And we're doing a good job actually holding this. Um, not such a bad position for the missile silo. Should be able to target at least all the defenses. And actually, might even be able to target the factory. And I'm pretty sure that we would have spotted that before when I was flying my planes there. So, yeah, not such a bad spot for the silo. Could have built it up a little bit further forward. Maybe here, so it would still be behind the solars, but just, you know, a little bit closer. But, uh, what the hell. It's all good, and, yep, we actually do have the urchin detecting the, um, scallops as well. In fact, I'm not even sure if it was necessary for my bombers to come in. These, these urchins seem to be doing a great job taking them out. And, uh, there we go. Down they go. Thank god these guys can basically shoot down cliffs. <laughs> Look at that, just shooting straight down, just like that. And again with the, uh, stutter. Uh, a couple of people left. I don't know if that might maybe cause the stutter. Possibly? I didn't think that should really be the case, but that's the only explanation I can actually think of. Um, because, you know, the two things happened at the same time... No, I don't think that's it actually. I... Fuck me, I don't know what that was causing that. That is really annoying. Because this is actually not such a bad game as you can see. Definitely quite a bit of back and forth action and we also got nice um, missiles being launched as well actually. So what are we building? Just Inferno missiles? No, we've got, actually got tactical nukes being built as well. We'll just select that and yep, it can actually reach pretty much everywhere. It barely cannot reach the bases in the uh, left and top left though, which kind of sucks. If it was built here... Actually, where is it? Actually, even... Um, I think even here actually, I th it would have been able to target the uh, bases directly. God, so close yet so far. Ah, uh, well, whatever. I mean, we'll be able to take out the Clokybot factory at the very least, or at least we would be able to if it wasn't for the fact that um, these missiles don't want shot them. We do have another tactical nuke, but it might actually be a better idea just to finish this off with a bomber, actually. But uh, nope, instead I'm going for a whole bunch of scallops, because I can. Wait, yep, actually I might be able... Actually, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with these bombers. Really, they're right here, the base is right here, it's getting repaired. I don't know why just, he didn't just send two missiles, actually, to um, take it out. Because, yeah, he's got, a, he's got a spare tactical nuke there, another one being built up, so I don't know what he's planning to do with that. Maybe he's saving up to get a, uh, two nukes at once, but really, I might as well just take out this thing myself, really. It's right on their front line. There's no anti-air, but uh, no open I'm contenting myself with taking out everything in the bottom there. Why not, I guess? Like, but, yeah, look at this. All these bombers that I've got. Nine bombers. That'll be more than enough to take out the, the rocket that's coming out of there, but also the... Uh, the factory, if it'll fucking let us select it. Here we go, 4,000. Yeah, that should be more than enough, I think. And here they come. We'll put my theory to the test. Yep. 
with a couple of bombs to spare it seems. Very nice of that indeed. Just a little crater remaining and a partially showing decal as well of the um, Cloakybot factory. Very nice of that. And again with the stutter, I don't know. Maybe Obs is doing something there? I don't know because I wasn't getting um, I wasn't getting stutter in the previous match. Yeah, it's very strange. I hope the stream is looking good then in that case. Just don't know. In any case, this guy, yeah, he's basically spamming, yeah, tactical nukes and the uh, napalm nukes. And um, actually, they're not really nukes in that case, just napalm missiles. All very nice, actually, taking out a whole bunch of wind gens. Now, that's the sort of thing you want to aim for with the uh, napalm bombs. Uh, what did he actually take out with the tactical nuke? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but. Uh, well, there you go, not too shabby. We actually managed to take out the uh, Scuttle. It, um, I think it jumped there, then it sort of revealed itself. Yep, but he uh, did manage to, I guess, manage to make it act as a scout. <laughs> Spotted the HL2, so that's 555. Or, oh no, just 550 metal to act as a scout. Huzzah. Bomber's coming in. It might be a bit of a, a trap, though, because there is a bit of anti-air. Not too much, though. But what the hell, I am managing to tear up quite a bit. A couple of bombers being dropped, but I'm, I'm dare say I'm inflicting far more damage than I'm losing bombers, that's for sure. So I think I lost maybe two or three bombers, and I took out some very expensive units as well at the same time, so... Who said we don't need air? Exactly. They don't need air. They don't need shit. Apparently. But anyway. <laughs> oh, and another very nice little, um... Napalm missile as well. So yeah, we both definitely do have our opponents on the run, and what is their response going to be? Response is going to be more scallops, why not? And also more racketeers, more thugs, and more rogues, because why not? What about the spider factory? Oh no, that's not a spider factory. There was a spider factory there, no more though. Jump factory is going to be producing a whole bunch of jacks and scuttles, so they might actually go for a bit of a um, sneak attack, but yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh god. Yep, we've got some defenses set up here, that's for sure. Indeed. Need something crazy or it's GG. Well, who knows? We might actually see them pull out something crazy. I mean, you don't normally see so many scuttles being made. So, what are they... I mean, I don't think there's too many targets for them to actually go for. But, um, no, they might actually resign instead. Well, my bombers are going to town on all everything there. And our ground horses are mopping up. So, uh, yeah. There we go. They're going to be resigning. We're going to be getting some more stutter. But I think that's just the resign stutter. Hopefully. <laughs> And they have it. We managed to get through with a little bit of stutter for some odd reason. But there you go. Down they go. Maybe it was the map itself. I don't know. Still an interesting matchup, actually. Definitely, um, I definitely fared quite a bit better with, with air compared to the previous match. I think you'll agree with that. So they have it. I shall see you all next time.